What's up everybody, this is Bob Game here, once again I'm back with another video playing Juicex Mankind Divided. I was so curious about this game and I got it recently but I'm facing many issues regarding performance. As we see the reset and FPS drive while well, moving faster in the city and lots of stutter. While taking a turn, game almost stopped for 3 seconds. It is because this game requires 16GB of system RAM and at least 4GB of video RAM to keep it smooth. But if you have less than this, then don't worry, I got you back to show you how and what can you do to keep it smooth and steady for better gameplay experience. Now let's go to graphics option to see what we have here. Uh, first we go for display settings. Uh, as you can see that this game is recently passed to DirectX 12 but we must uh, keep it off because 2 gigabytes is very poor for DirectX 12. Uh, this thing should remain off for getting rid of input latency for mouse and controller. MSA is just gonna be like hell for me so I'm gonna just turn it on. Mostly people would love to play at 1080 pixels but this game has a feature called sharpness like uh, Witcher 3 you can try lowering your resolution to 900 pixels this will look almost uh, similar to 1080 pixels if you are having any kind of blurry display on uh, 900 pixels on your monitor then try making a custom resolution of 900 pixels in nvidia control panel and uh, remember to choose cvr in the timing tab and every time before starting the game, change your desktop resolution to 900 pixels from NVIDIA control panel and instead of Windows display setting. For the one who got 2 gigs of VRAM should not try changing textures to very high or ultra instead high. Textures filtering, it's up your VRAM so it's good to keep it 4x to obtain an optimum quality. Turn down your shadow level to medium, the noticeable quality video on high end medium is very, very rarely noticeable that you can't even see, imperceptible almost. Contact hurting shadows don't even think of it. Temporal anti-aliasing is good to keep on as it impacts very less on your GPU and makes AGD smooth. A motion blur is a good option for the one who is getting low FPS around 30 to 40 because uh, this will act as a smoothness in your game while you are moving around. Depth of field is almost broken in this game, I cannot feel any difference whether it's on or off, so just keep it off. Bloom, well the game is fine without blooming, so turn it off. Lens flare is not so good for this game as it glows the whole screen when there is light blinking. Volumetric lighting, just turn it on, don't go for ultra. Subsurface scattering enhances your enemies in the scene by reflection of their costume and makes it easier for you to see them and aim, so just keep it on. Cloth physics is not necessary option. Ambient occlusion makes the game looks realistic, without this the game looks horrible. Tessellation stays off. Parallax occlusion mapping makes surfaces very rough in game and looks better by the impact performance, so turn it off. Screen space reflection enhances the reflection quality in game, but if you will find performance hit, uh, it's better to turn off and thus it's really a great way for boosting FPS because it kills a lot of frame rate when you turn it on. As I told you in the beginning of the video about shutless feature, this is what you must turn on if you are on 900 pixels. Chromatic aberration at cyan and red color filter around ages and it kind of makes you feel like you're looking through a glass So, you know, you just keep it off for performance boost Level of digital setting at low improve huge performance, but medium is an adequate level for quality This setting should keep your gameplay smoother if you're on NVIDIA GDX 960 2GB or similar card of AMD if you are facing any starter then uh, or any kind of other issues then you can just try locking your frame rate with river tuner statistic server to 40 or 30. thank you guys for watching my video uh, if you have liked my video then give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and write them in the comment section below if you have any other question